Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out the new Epi model Mobula 7 with the O4 light system. Oh my god. You get stickers, an accessory bag with a Phillips screwdriver and a propeller removal tool, a spare canopy, a extra set of HQ1810 45mm tri-blade propellers and the screws to mount everything. And finally we have the drone and its canopy. This is the version without the O4. This is the connector to plug the O4 wire into. You may have it if you have a new O4 light system but if you are taking it from another drone you may not have a dual ended wire because they soldered it on here and since it's a small drone I wish they provided their own shorter version of this cable and boom I put the O4 light and I had to add my own grommets because they are not provided in the box as well I luckily found a very short cable that keeps the weights down and we are at 37 grams which is quite nice it feels very springy, very resistant, it's gonna be hard to break this drone and also the canopy feels quite resistant as well sadly it doesn't have an adjustable camera angle you are fixed at this, what is this, 20, 15, 20 the motors are 11 to 10,000 kV and you get a 1 to 2S F4 flight controller with 12 amps ESCs flashed with Blue J. It has an integrated non SPI Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver and this copper wire is the little antenna. The drone takes 2S power and you have a limited space on the battery tray. It takes from 450 to 550 milliamps 2S battery. And finally, it's time to fly. I found three batteries that fit the mounting system in here we have a 450 milliamps 2s hv 530 milliamps and 550 i'm gonna start from the 450 so today is uh, slightly windy and the drone is not flying particularly well like i recorded a couple of flights already I figured I solved the issue, but it's still uh, not solved, just got a little bit better. And you hear the noise it makes, like it's super silent. But it's not sounding clean. It has uh, the, the PYD loop is doing some weird stuff and uh, is overshooting the, the, the P probably. This is the stock tune. And uh, I originally had to reflash the flight controller to use SBUS on my DJI Remote Controller 3, and that's on the website actually. And uh, the, the drone ships with, oh my god, the latency here, the drone ships with uh, 4.5.1, and I mistakenly didn't uh, look at it, I installed 4.5.2 which on any other drone is super similar and it shouldn't uh, be an issue and so when I flash the preset I don't know maybe the PYD is not perfect on uh, it doesn't translate perfectly from 4.5.1 to 4.5.2 but uh, yeah I figured that was the issue I opened the drone checked for the wires and uh, I made sure nothing is touching the board, but still, you see, it's not flying particularly good. It seemed to have gotten better to some point, but this 450 milliamps battery seems to be too light to the way this drone is tuned, and uh, the PYD loop is overshooting. And yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to control. It's not precise. It was worse before, like. Uh, it was throttling up without reason, I, at zero, I was zero throttle and the drone was uh, accelerating. But yeah, uh, let's just say I'm not impressed with the way it flies with a 450. It was worse before though. And yeah, there is a slight wobble and bobble in the camera. It doesn't seem to have jello. It's not soft mounted or anything, so I am uh, kind of impressed with that. Maybe a little bit of jello, yes. But it's not flying too bad apart from that. When I put the bigger batteries, I feel like it's gonna work a little bit better. So it's just an issue of these 450 milliamps. Don't use them, they are too lightweight and the drone is not tuned for that, seems like. 
I have tried the 530 so far, I have yet to try the 550, so I am uh, foreshadowing a little bit. Because usually I like to discover things with you. Oh! Can I dislodge it? Uh, oh wow, I did dislodge it. I mean, it's about time to land. It seems to be quite efficient, quite silent. Like, if it didn't have this weird uh, oscillation, it, it would be amazing. Probably one of the best tiny whoops with the 4 light I have tried. But the, the pit loop is not convincing me at this time. Oh, wow. You see, the chicken don't really care too much. Drone is super, uh, super discreet. Ha! Huh. This is one of the... Oh! Oh, yeah, I don't feel completely at home with this drone. <laughs> Battery is low, it's sagging maybe a little bit. Time to land, yes, let's land. Let's fly with the 530 milliamps. Okay, with this battery it sounds... Sli slightly cleaner, not yet clean. Maybe it's the wind, I don't know what's up with it. But it's not tuned 100% uh, fine. Still, it will be, it is maybe one of the best flying tiny whoops with the O4 light I've seen so far. And that's saying much about the quality of this. Uh, of for light drones. I don't know why they all are kind of cursed and this is uh, no exception. They all have some kind of, uh, uh, how do you say, negative aspect to it. This one you cannot change, the camera angle is fixed and is not tuned perfectly, but it doesn't seem to have uh, a crazy amount of gel or vibration at least, because most of them have really really bad vibration. This has a pit tuning vibration. I'm gonna check later with the 550, but I doubt it's gonna be much different. At least it doesn't fly very bad. Like it's close to be very good tuned, but it's not there yet. And it will make for such a good chicken chaser but maybe the camera angle is a little bit uh, too steep for that. Oh, 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 chill down, chill down. <laughs> it's a small drone. Well, at least we got some uh, chicken chase uh, footage. Ah, this is a pro maneuver. No. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, maybe with this wind and uh, very lightweight drone, I don't feel completely at home. Like, the movements I make are kind of jerked and... Uh, and moved. Probably this is uh, one of those drones that's good indoors and outdoors with no wind. As soon as the wind picks up, it starts jerking a little bit too much. And also, it doesn't have inertia, so when you do maneuvers, you oh my god, yeah. When you do maneuvers, it goes... Uh, I expected a little bit better from this drone. I expect a little bit better of every O4 light drone I have seen so far. I don't know why no company has made a, a perfect O4 light drone so far. Maybe they all try to make uh, the tiniest the <laughs> and, uh, and each has uh, its own problem. Maybe I am testing them outdoors with a little bit of wind, but this is a normal, perfectly normal condition to fly, and even the Nano Fly 20 from sub 250, that's a toothpick, it was wobbly. So I don't know what's up with them. Maybe the camera being narrow is an issue. It uh, shows up wobble much more than the wider angle camera on the O4 Pro system. But the, drone, the drones with the O4 Pro system, maybe since they weigh more, they are more uh, dampened from vibrations. But, yeah, this is absolutely better than the 1S drones on uh, O4 Lite, 
those are uh, too underpowered in my opinion. The iFly 21 was again super underpowered. This at least is flying uh, somewhat better than all of them. I don't know against the the Fly B I tested the other day how this is. They are comparable probably. But this one has bigger propellers. So I should test the Fly B20, not the Fly B16. Maybe the Fly B20 is better than this, but it's an open frame design. At least this is a cine whoop. So it's a little bit more protected if you want to fly indoors. Oh my God. <laughs> I am sorry today. Uh, I am struggling to make this video. I'm going to be honest because I have a crazy hay fever. You may have noticed from uh, the videos the other days. And uh, yeah, spring is not uh, the best uh, day for me. I had to took the antihistaminics and they dumped me down a little bit. So that's why I'm not uh, 100% today. But uh, this drone is crazy efficient. I'm going to give it that. It's like I am flying forever. 5 minutes and 22. Yeah, it's uh, about time I start landing, but... Uh, if you fly slow and steady, this thing goes 7 minutes with a 530 milliamps. So, for exploration, it's great. And lastly, let's fly with the 550 milliamps. Okay, it's recording, let's fly. No, I still this does the same thing. You can hear from my microphone that the sound is unclean. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it, really. Okay, let's put it in air mode. And the camera angle is a little bit too high for my taste. I will, uh, for this backyard exploring, I will put it slightly lower. Because uh, you are forced to go, to go quite uh, cruising with this drone to, to see the horizon. You cannot really slow down that much. So probably it's like 25 degrees. Uh. And if he doesn't have this issue of uh, this tuning that I cannot resolve, it would have been a, a really great drone. Still one of the best, again, I'm gonna say it again, but each one is Kurt, then you have to choose your, uh, your trade-off. Maybe I am exaggerating. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what was that? I didn't do it. Yeah, this is like old beta FPV kind of, uh, of response. There was a time every beta FPV drone was flying like this. Like, it was kind of fine, but then it threw in something on its own. Uh, <laughs> on its own. You, you saw, I, I didn't... Uh, you left back there. I don't know why the drone decided to do that. Yeah, actually BDFP was much worse. Like uh, a couple of years ago it would uh, crash basically. And at least this has not crashed yet. But it doesn't like acro too much. So it seems like it's a drone to go fast around the backyard uh, and that's it. If you do this, you will have fun. You can drop in a couple of uh, maneuvers here and there. Yeah. But yeah. It's not the most precise thing ever. Or reliable because uh, it's precise. 80% of the times. I have very, very, very mixed feelings with this drone. Because it's one of the best I have tried so far. But that doesn't mean that uh, it's absolutely good. I don't know how to explain that. These uh, 04 light drones are, uh, have been so weird to me. They're all uh, C or B tier, -tier drones. Uh, even not accounting for the fact that the camera, of course, is not 
professional for recordings and stuff, even for having fun. Like, I have not seen something that uh, it flies absolutely incredible and uh, I am uh, excited on the fun aspect of it. Because, yeah, if they start jerking the maneuvers and, uh, and do weird uh, stuff, I'm not happy with them. For being a 45 mm tiny whoop, uh, is not flying bad. Okay, it's time to land. Six minutes and 40 of mixed flying with this 550, like, not bad. And I have very mixed feelings on this drone because it's one of the best experiences I had with the O4 light system, but still is a six, six and a half out of 10. If the drone was tuned slightly better and it had an adjustable camera angle, I would have given it a eight, nine out of 10 on the O4 light because it doesn't seem to have much jello. It's super efficient, super silent. And for being a 45 millimeter tiny whoop, when it flies good, it really flies good for this class of drones, but it's not precise 100% of the time, only 70, 80. Sometimes it just jerks off your maneuvers and uh, it decides to spin left out of uh, control. And I really don't like that because that can result in a crash. You losing your drone or you're breaking your drone. If you know how to tune, probably you can refine the tuning on this thing and it will become a seven, eight out of 10 experience, but drones should come well tuned out of the box. If you're fine with this slightly aggressive camera angle, this is a very fun exploring racing drone for indoors, for your backyard or for a park. I can recommend it for that as it's one of the best experiences I had with a 4 Lite. That's not to say it's a very good experience. So I would still encourage manufacturers to make better O4 light drones because I've not seen something I can recommend hands down so far. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this drone and let me know what you think about these O4 light systems because there always seems to be a trade-off with them and I don't know why there is no perfect drone. If you want to buy something, check out the links in the description below. Many times you find coupons and also you help this channel a lot. Thank you so much. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.